reflecting on on the year um, as a whole, you know, tough situation losing with the Knicks and y'all in y'all season. What's the biggest takeaways from a team standpoint and, and from your individual uh, season? What was your biggest take takeaways from a team standpoint? I had to say it just show you like how balanced the league is, right? Mm -hmm. To where we realize, man, like just keep getting better. We not that far off. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's motivating for me in a sense because, like, I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, all right, how can I be the best version of myself to help the team win? Mm -hmm. So I go into the offseason, you know, you dissect that. But it's everybody from a team. Like, we got a bunch of – we got a great mixture of talent, bro. We got young dudes. We got, you know, guys who, you know, going into their prime. Um, so we got a great mixture of guys. But it's like, how do you keep getting better? Right. Uh, so from a team standpoint, I think that's where we at. Like, as individuals, how can we get better? And then we figure out, you know, what worked in the postseason, what didn't, you know, mm -hmm. like what worked versus Miami, what didn't, mm -hmm. you know, what are the teams doing that won? So, like, I look at Denver and I'm like, all right, what are they doing as a team uh, to help them have such great chemistry on the court, right? you know, to win? So, I, I look at it from that standpoint. And then from an individual, uh, I'm all about efficiency, bro. So, for me, it's efficiency, like – how can I – like, I look at – and I take examples. Like, I look at I look at you or I look at a guy like, for instance, Jimmy. Like, Jimmy, for me, is a great example of somebody mm -hmm. who c continues to get better. Mm -hmm. How does Jimmy go from, you know, being a 46% shooter <clears throat> to, you know, a 53, 54, mm -hmm. more efficient, less shots, uh, whatever it is, right. you know, type of player. Uh, so I always try to look at, like, how can I be more efficient? Right. How can I be easier to play with? How can I help my teammates? You know? Do you ever go like, so for me, season done, I start to reflect on my year and then I'll highlight something that I know I struggle with all season long. And it's like, damn, now I can finally address this. You got something that you can go to where this summer, like, boom, I'm, automatically I want to get better at this. Mm -hmm. You. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know if you want to give out your secret. Yeah, I can't tell. You. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Big, nah, all right. No, it's definitely, but I'll do that during season. <clears throat> I think that's one of the things I learned too. Like I, like at the end of the day, bro, you done seen every coverage. Yeah, you know what teams are doing, like styles of play and stuff like that. So it's like, all right, you know, I, I take notes like during season. Like, all right, this is what this person did. How can I get better at this? Yeah, or things you see things in the in the year. Like, I'm not as comfortable doing this on the floor. You know, how can I get better at that? Yeah. I can't long story so I can't tell you people. Yeah, yeah, don't don't don't, don't give me don't give we us, still don't give competitive, bro. Yeah, like, don't give us everything. I'm, I'm gonna figure it out. You. We love you on our side, bro, but we're still competitive. I'm gonna tell bro. you I'm gonna tell you right now. When we play <laughs> and you do something, I'll be like, dog, you just added that. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. We're gonna, we gonna have this moment. I'm like, dog, you just added that, did you? Watch. I, I got a question for both of y'all. All right. I wanna know both of y'all are in the active media market, LA and New York. I wanna know how do y'all handle the media and all that fan noise and that negativity that's coming towards y'all. Yeah. Well, it's cool, man, because I got to experience both, bro. Like, because I was with the Lakers. True that. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I, I've seen both markets. Uh, when I was in L.A., we was a young team. They had just won a championship in 10. Yep. And I got drafted in 14. Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? And Kobe also <laughs> had, you know, Kobe was his last two years, was my first two years. So, like, it was that transition. So, like, it wasn't like the expectation wasn't for us to win. You know what I mean? So, I, I know how it is with the Lakers now. The expectation <laughs> is they got to right, win. Right. 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 It's a different monster. But it was, uh, it was, it was laid back. Like, my time here, bro, it was great. Like, it was, it was fun. Uh, you know what I mean? It was just, we was a bunch of young dudes out there trying to hoop. So, like, it really wasn't that bad. But when I got to New York, bro, <laughs> I say first, first thing first, like one on one, if you want like a lesson, don't, don't do thumbs down. Like, <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, yeah. I, I did that. <laughs> they throw a soda bottle at yeah, you. Yeah, that didn't work out well for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that was maybe my, it was on your ass. Yeah, that was my immaturity, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, don't, don't do that. But, uh, I, I, I honestly, I love it, bro, because it, it's made me the player I am today. You know I like what I mean? That. It pushes me. It all it all depends on how you look at it, bro. It can be tough for some people, and it's been tough for me. It's been tough for me. It's been tough for my family. Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard. The hardest thing for me is is my family, right? Because, right. like, you know, the garden is it's a different animal. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So it's, the hardest thing for me is, is my family and, and my son. Uh, both of my sons, but Kai in particular, because he's older. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's the toughest thing. But I love it, man, because it's it's made me who I am today. Like it done taught me 
so much more about myself and as a player, uh, you know, figuring out what really matter, what don't, uh, it done taught me a lot about, you know, who I am as a human. So I done grown so much. I like the dude Joe. Yeah, I done grown I like a the lot. New Joe. I, I do. Lot. But that shit age you though, bro. I hate bro. you ain't over there with us, but I like the new Joe. That shit age you though, bro. It's like it's like almost being like you a, you the president, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, the president, they go in there, you see them, and they look great when they first, and then four years later, they got the right, image, right. and they look yeah. old as hell. Yeah. That's how I feel right now. They obviously want to win. Every uh, community or every, you know, city wants their team to win. But I feel like it's just so much pressure if you being a Nick to win and win right away. And if y'all not winning, then it's just like, you know, well, yeah, it's the, it's you're going to hear it from them. Yeah, but it's it's the level, like, it's the difference, right? Like I said, when I was drafted in L.A., you know, they had just won in 10. <clears throat> I got to New York. They ain't won in 50 years, bro. Yeah. It's crazy. You know that what I mean? Crazy. So it's like, but that was my excitement of going there. Yeah. Like that challenge, you know, just trying to win there, you know. Is that is that the motivation? Because you went there, dog. You. That's the only, that was the biggest you got reason. A, you got a statue coming. Statue. No bullshit. Sure. That's the, that's the only thing. Yeah. Bro, that's what, that's what drive me. And we got a little bit more of a taste of that, you yeah. know what I mean, as a team. So it's like, all right, bro, how we get better? Because like you said, you went there, bro. It's yeah. All right, Jackie. It's kind of sad, but the NBA season is done. But that doesn't mean that prize picks is done. What's the next sport that you're going to be making some money on? Golf, baby. You know I'm all up into that. <laughs> Look, the U.S. Open was in Los Angeles this past week. And my guys, John Rahm and Brooks got me up big time, baby. But wait, wait. I'm too hyper. Let the people know what prize picks is. So prize picks is a daily fantasy app. You pick two to six players like the video on your screen then you pick if they will have more or less than their prize picks projection you aren't competing against other people it's just you versus the projections available look i know how much i won but tell the people on prize picks how much they can win dallas so you guys can win up to 25 times your money on any entry and on top of that all first time users that deposit and use our promo code podcast p will receive a hundred percent instant deposit match up to a hundred dollars. That means if you deposit twenty dollars, Prize Picks will give you twenty dollars. If you deposit one hundred dollars, Prize Picks will give you one hundred dollars. And y'all already know what time it is. Cha-ching! Cha-ching! 